Hi and welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound channel. Over the holidays I built a very basic uh, oscilloscope kit. This is the oscilloscope. You've probably seen these for sale online, relatively cheap. Um, you can get them in kit form or already built. I bought a kit form because I wanted the challenge. Um, and yeah, it took me a couple of goes to actually get it working, but now I've got it working. I don't think I'm going to make accurate measurements with it, but that's probably more down to I don't trust my own calibration. But that's not really what I got it for. What I wanted to do was visualise the waveforms coming out of my modules on my synthesizers. And for that purpose, it's really good and it's shown some interesting results. So I want to share some of those results with you. So let's have a look at what's visually coming out of some of these modules. In this video I'll be looking at the output from my 555 VCO. Um, on, on, this, <coughs> on the 555 that I've built here you've got frequency control and I've also made it so you can switch it between triangle and square wave although if you're looking closely at the panel you'll probably find out that I've I've labelled the panel the wrong way around, never mind. Um, so frequency control, if if I'm going from the top so I don't cover up the uh, oscilloscope display, so I turn the frequency up, turn the frequency down, turn it back up, you see it changing, let's listen to it, let's, let's dial it in. So that's the square wave that we're listening to now. And then as I say, I'll, I've got a, a switch on it that allows me to switch it to triangle wave. So there we go, triangle wave. Straight away you will notice that I've lost quite a lot of amplitude on there. Now, there's something interesting happening with this. What, the way that I achieve the triangle wave is simply using a low pass filter to actually create a, a time delay so I, the ramp right as a, as a capacitor in the low pass filter charges up you get a rise time and a fall and then it discharges so you get a fall time so instead of getting the the straight up and down square wave that, and a bit louder um, you you get triangle wave the thing is this is actually a, a fixed frequency low pass filter in the circuit design and that brings in a little bit of an artifact such that if I start to decrease the frequency you can see we're still looking at something that looks like a triangle wave and then at a particular frequency the frequency 
I get to a, a particular frequency, which is the the uh, particular cutoff for this this particular RC low pass network that I've set up in there, that actually um, uh, starts to kind of go above that frequency. So you now get back into something that looks like a triangle wave. Okay, that got me to thinking. If what I'm doing is taking that square wave and passing it through a filter and making it into that triangle wave by using what is essentially a passive low pass filter, I should be able to see the same effect if I take the output from the square wave output from the 555, put it into a low pass filter and then take it back out on that low pass filter so there's a square wave now the filter, I'm, I'm not sure how good the camera's picking this up, but the filter it basically fully open so we've everything's coming through now and there's the square wave form as I start to turn the cut off on the filter down you can see it starts to kind of round off the waveform and I'm also losing amplitude which is what you'd expect I'll dial that back in on the mixer so you can still hear it and there you go switch to the triangle wave turn it up so I make sure I get a triangle wave open up the filter there's a triangle wave coming through so what I'm actually going to be doing now is putting a second stage low pass filter on it and watch what happens to the waveform again we're losing amplitude because we're, we're throwing stuff away Turn it back up again so you can hear a little bit more. So that's it with the cut off right down. Bring it back up. Switch it back to square wave. So you can see that I don't quite get the same definition in the triangle wave with the filter but it's kind of smoothing out some of the harshness on the square wave which then comes back in I wonder what happens if I now switch it to the triangle wave and drop the frequency so it's starting to get that There we go. That's where we, the triangle wave, where it goes from triangle wave back into kind of a, a half triangle wave interspersed with square waves. Take the filter down. Just seems to affect pretty much the amplitude. So, but kind of what I'm getting there now is it's like second stage filtering because of the way I'm creating the triangle wave the first stage of filtering this is the second stage of filtering but the effect from the low pass filter um, with the variable frequent with the variable cutoff is not as sharp as the effect from the filtering that I put actually on the oscillator which gives me a more clearly defined 
triangle wave. There we go. Some interesting effects coming out of I can actually now see what my designs in my oscillator well, I can, I've, I've always been able to hear what they sounded like but now I can see what they actually look like and I can see why when I go down in the frequencies with the uh, with it set to triangle wave that suddenly I lose the clean triangle wave hum and I get this kind of almost resonant distortion coming in and it's because I've gone past the uh, cutoff frequency of the fixed frequency low pass filter that is used to turn the square wave into the triangle wave. I find this interesting. I hope you do too. If not, I'm sorry if I bored you, but there you go. This is what my 555 VCO looks and sounds like.